Okay, I wanted to talk to you about the uh, Airport Express today. Um, it's an 802.11n Wi-Fi device. It's a uh, Apple product, as you can tell from the box. Um, but what what's really cool about this thing is, it's a uh, here's the actual device that you get. Um, flips down. It looks like one of those power chargers, but much bigger. And what it does is you can extend your Wi-Fi network using one of these devices and on the bottom it comes with three ports. It comes with Ethernet, USB and a uh, audio jack which is also um, optical. So it comes with those three and then what, what you do is um, the box comes with a CD with the airport express utility so you can detect the, the device and then configure it for your for your network comes with your you know basic instructions um, this thing works with both Macs or PCs and you don't have to have a uh, airport adapter to use this as an extender this is just you can use any standard Wi-Fi um, adapter I'm using a, a Linksys uh, four port uh, 802.11g uh, router so what I did was I, I took this to my Mac downstairs I installed the disk and I plugged in um, Ethernet right into the my current network you can connect wirelessly you have to plug it in by the way you have to plug it in so that there's power to the device plug in, I plugged into the Ethernet jack and then ran the utility on, on my Mac it detects the device and then I can go in and configure um, you know what IP address I want to use and uh, what type of security I'm using. I'm using WEP 128-bit uh, encryption so I was able to go in and and set all that up. Now what is what's really cool with this is you know you can plug in speakers to the speaker jack, a printer or another computer and this will act as the wireless device. These run hundred bucks at Best Buy or Apple um, or wherever but I picked mine up on uh, eBay for eighty dollars so saved a couple of dollars and was free shipping so it didn't come with shrink wrap and the box was a little bit you know rough but uh, anyway I set it up no problem and uh, I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you why I bought this thing so let's uh, go down go downstairs and check it out Okay, we're down here at my um, Mac. Um, I have my iTunes on my Mac Pro, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to check to see. Okay, so down here at the bottom, I have um, Master Bed. I named that the speakers on the device Master Bed, and then you can hook up computer or Master Bed. So. Um, when I play iTunes it's going to go to this device which I've named as master bed so you know with the when I when I start this thing up it, it knows this thing's on the network and it'll play uh, my iTunes library to the device now since this is where I, I, I sync my iPhone and my iPod here um, that's why I, you know I don't want to have another iTunes library somewhere else so you know it's, it gets synced here all my music's here but I want to play this up in my bedroom you know without having to you know drag an iPod up there or something like that so this is where the music is stored this is in the basement and I'll take you upstairs and show you how I uh, control this device playing my iTunes library and I know what you're gonna say you're gonna say well why would you wanna sit down here and you know select a playlist then run upstairs and then when you're ready to turn it off come back down here and, and do it again I'm gonna show you how we how I do that without having to run around to control the iTunes library once it's installed so let's go upstairs and take a look at it okay now I'm back in my uh, bedroom and I just have this old um, set of computer speakers, gateway speakers. 
it's a mess of wires but I have the uh, Airport Express plugged into the wall you can see the green light um, which indicates that it's connected to the network and speakers plugged in now I was showing you the uh, in iTunes where you can set the device and, and what that's called is AirTunes. AirTunes allows you to stream your music wirelessly across your network to an Airport Express or Airport device and then play it via that way. So now I'm all the way up here. Um, I pretty much have to go down the basement to turn my iTunes library, you know, select my playlist or whatever and get that started. But since I have an iPhone, da -da, um, I can select, it might be hard to see this too, looks like there's a glare, but I have a program called Remote, which is a free program from Apple. And initially I thought this program was just to control an Apple TV, but it's, uh, it's not. You can select your... Uh, iTunes library and just play your iTunes remotely. So I'm going to go into um, my purchase music. This is really hard to see, I think, but um, let's see. Let's go down here and going to pick some Peter Frampton <laughs> for some reason but seems to be way down on the list oh here we go so um, I'm going to go ahead and start this and it takes a couple of seconds and that was really loud so I can turn it down with my phone as well and it even shows me the album art on the phone when I remote control of my iTunes library. So, music's playing down on my computer, streaming across the network Wi-Fi to the Airport Express with AirTunes, and um, playing in my bedroom. So, this is one of those devices that you can live without, but when you see how cool it is, it's like, man, I gotta have that. So, I decided to get it, and love the thing so now I gotta set my speakers up better and uh, get this thing going better but uh, that's the Airport Express with AirTunes so I'm gonna rock out a little bit and I hope you enjoyed the video